Hey guys, welcome to my video editing tutorial for beginners. In this video, we're gonna cover how to use iMovie step by step for editing your videos. And I will try to answer some of the frequently asked questions about iMovie. So iMovie is a completely free video editing program that helps Mac users to edit videos. So if you are a Mac user and don't want to buy an expensive video editing software, then starting with iMovie is a great option. To start using iMovie, go to your finder, type iMovie, and you should find it there. But if you can't find it, then go to your app store and you can install it from there. Okay, so now let's start our iMovie program. Now we need to create here a new project by clicking on this create new button. And it gives us two options. Now for creating a new project, choose movie, and then it should take you to this screen. So this is our iMovie interface and currently it is empty. I have some example video and audio files on my desktop and now I will show you how you can edit. You can do it in two different ways. The first one is you click on this import media button and it will give access to your files on your desktop or on your computer. Basically choose here that the file you want to edit. For example, let's choose this one, click on import and now we have this file here. As a second method, for example, the files I want to edit are on my desktop. You can simply click, drag and drop the files that you want to edit directly to this section. And it will also import the files automatically like this way. So far we have imported only MP4 files, video files. But if you prefer, if you wish, you can also import, for example, a sound file or even a picture like this. If you are not happy, if you want to delete it, then click on the right mouse button and you can choose delete media from event and it, it will ask you to delete, click on delete and it will be done. Okay, so now let's continue with the interface. On the top left part, you see three buttons, the projects, this video and sound button and this arrow. Now, when you click on the projects button, after saving your project, it will take you back to the main screen and you can here create, for example, another project, or you can continue with your current project, or if you wish, you can also delete it or duplicate it. Okay, so now let's go back here. The button in the middle simply hides everything and, and brings the preview screen into the middle. Now, after importing some files, if you look carefully, the arrow here has disappeared, but you can find it again here. So if you want to import additional files, you can click on this button and it will bring you back to the import screen. On the left side of the interface, you can see your current project that you are working on, additional libraries like your photos on your computer or the other events or the other projects and libraries if you have saved something before. But currently we are on this one, so we need to go back here. This little button here hides the left panel. And if you want to see it back, then click on here. Here are additional options. The first one is my media, that's your current media files. The second one is audio. You can find here your own audio files, or you will have access here to your music files, to the large sound effects library of iMovie. You can basically play by clicking here like this one, and it will also give access to the GarageBand. The next one is titles. Under the titles tab, you can add text and titles to your video. On the right side is our preview screen. If you hover over with your mouse, for example, to one of the titles, you can see what it does. And while editing our video, I will show you how to use that. So now let's move on with the background step. Here you can add different colors of background to your videos. This tab is for transitions. For example, while you are moving to another section inside your video, you can use these different kinds of transitions. And I will also show how to use that soon. On the right side of our interface, there are additional editing options that iMovie gives us. If you choose this one, it will reset all of these editings that you want to do. This icon on the top right side is for exporting the video once you finish your editing. This little microphone here is for voiceover recording. This is for starting and playing the preview video player. And this is the full screen button. 
Okay, so now let's add the footage and start editing it. You can simply drag and drop your footage here to start editing. If you drag this little bar here, you can zoom in and zoom out to your footage like this. So these little waves here are the sound of your footage. With your mouse cursor, if you come here to this thin line here, you can drag and change the size of your preview screen if that's necessary. This icon here does some automatic editing, but we're not going to use that for this video. The first one is the color balance. Okay, if you want to change the color of your video, you can simply you can make these arrangements from here. Let's choose, for example, a black one. And you can see now the color has changed, but we're not going to use that because it doesn't look so good. This one is the color correction. You can, for example, change the contrast of your video. You can adjust the saturation from here, make it black and white if you prefer, or much more colorful. And you can adjust the temperature, make your video a little bit colder if you prefer, or warmer from these options here. The third one is the cropping option. Currently, it fits the whole screen. If you make it, for example, full screen, we see that the video takes the full size of the screen, but you can change it from these options here. For example, you can choose crop to fill, and you should see this little rectangle here. So if you drag it from here, okay, or from here, then you see that the screen gets much smaller. You can also play it around like this. And now this bright part will be our new screen of the video, and it will cut the rest of the screen. Now if I click on apply, then the video will be cropped and we won't see the rest of the video. If you are not happy with your changes, you can always undo it by clicking command Z like this. Or if you have made a change, you'll see that these colors here are turned from white to a blue color. Okay, So you understand that you made a change. If you are not happy, you can click on reset and now it is resetted. These little icons here are for flipping the video like this. The third one is the cam burns option and this is kind of a zooming animation. Okay, Now let me show you how it works. First we need to take a slice of the video. If you want to cut or trim your video, you basically select a frame like this and then you click on command B. Okay, And let's choose another part like this one. Okay, And also cut it. Okay, so now we have cut this 8 seconds, okay? I can also remove it to another site, or I can delete it if I prefer. So this is the starting point, okay? You can also change it like this, if you prefer. But I will leave it like this for now. And the second one is the ending point. For example, if I want to zoom to this lamp here, okay? So let's zoom to the lamp. Now the video will start from here, and it will zoom in this direction within these eight seconds slowly and now let's play it okay now as you can see it starts zooming to this part of the video while we are shooting the video there can be some empty space like this and you can remove this and you can remove this empty space by basically firstly you need to trim with command b and then you select it and click on backspace and now the empty parts of the video is gone. Okay. okay, so the next one is stabilization. If your video is kind of shaky, then you can use this option to make it a little bit more stable. But we're not going to need to do this for this video. I'm using a tripod for my camera because it will prevent recording shaky videos. This one is for the volume. For example, let's pick this clip here. If you want to higher the volume, you can basically drag this line here and you can increase it up to 400% or you can completely mute it if you prefer and you can also do the same from here or you can click on auto it will automatically set the bar for the sound of your videos this one is adjusting the volume of other clips if there are other clips playing above this above the main footage you can adjust it from here this one is the noise reduction and equalizer if there are some kind of a background noise you can choose this one and you can reduce the background noise of your videos from here and this is the equalizer flat is the default one but if you change it then your voice will sound a little bit different so let's test it 
And what were the reasons that you have decided to subscribe? For example, this is the default one. But if I select, for example, Music Enhance, then the sound will be different. And what were the reasons that you have decided to subscribe? Like this, okay. This one is for changing the speed of your videos. Currently, this is the normal speed, but if you want to change the pace, then you can change it from here. You can make it much slower or faster. And you can also decide here how fast you want it. So up to eight times, up to 20 times, you can make your video faster, or you can do the same for slower. You can make it 10% slower and up to 50% slower. The next one is for filtering your clips if you prefer. For example, if you click on this one, iMovie will give you different kinds of filtering options. So if you want to add some cool filtering like this, then you can set it from here. You can also do the same for your audio. For example, you can make your sound coming like from a telephone. This one is the clip information. It will show you when you have shot the footage and the duration. This one right below the preview video is for additional settings. For example, you can choose a theme or you can add a filter. You can arrange the clip size like by zooming in and out and so on. All right, now let's continue with the other things you can do with iMovie. For example, you can add a B-roll to your video. For example, if I add this picture here, okay? Now, while I am talking, and what were the reasons that you have decided to subscribe? We can see the car playing as a B-roll while I am talking, so this can be an example B-roll. But if you want to add a voiceover, for example, then you can choose your audio and you can drag it to the bottom part of your footage like this. And now let's mute this one, for example. Okay, now if I play it. Testing, testing. Currently I'm testing my sound. Let's see. Now we will hear this audio file instead of the original audio from the video. You can change the duration of your footage. For example, this B-roll is, is playing for four seconds, but if you prefer, you can increase it or decrease it like this, okay? If you want to add additional audio, you can choose a sound effect or a music from here and you can drag and drop it here. And then for this 35 seconds, for example, if I play it, then we will hear the uh, audio from here. So let's play. And this is how you can add your audio files. You can also add text and titles to your footage simply by selecting the titles tab here. And here it gives you different options. Let's choose one of them, for example, this one. Okay, now if I put it somewhere here and let's get rid of this. Now let's start playing. And now we see that our text appears with a simple animation. If you double click on your text, you can change the font from here. You can, you can change the font size from here. Let's make it, for example, 90 if you want it smaller. You can change the position of your text from here. Unfortunately, we cannot move the text from here to somewhere here, for example. If you want to show some text here, then you need to choose, for example, a lower third. And if you want to overwrite the text, you can simply select it and you can write something else like this, okay? You can make it bold from here. You can make it italic, bold and outlined if you wish. And here you can give it another color. For example, let's make it green. Okay, now our text appears green. Let's play it again. And now we see a green text appearing here. This one is for adding backgrounds. If you want to add some kind of backgrounds, for example, then you can choose one of these. Let's choose, for example, this one, put it here. But if I play it, we currently only see it as B-roll. So that's why you want to select this option and it will give you, for example, some kind of opacity. So if you change the opacity, then you can see your video behind of it or you can make it split screen and it will split your screen, okay? Or you can, you can change the position like this, or you can make it picture in picture and you can show, 
for example, while you are talking, you can show a little image here and you can also adjust its size like this. You can also give a border if you prefer. And the last one is for green and blue screen option. If you want to use a green screen, then you should choose this one here. Okay, let's get rid of it. This tab is for transitions. If you want to add some transitions, for example, fading to black or like showing another screen, like some cool animations like this, then you should go to the transitions tab. The important thing you need to know here is that you can only put these transitions between your video clips. Okay, so for example, let's put it here. And if I and if I play it now, and what were the reasons? We see that transition appears. Okay. And once you finish with your editing, then the next thing you need to do is is to export your video. And to export it, you click on the top right icon, this one. And this is the share option. You can share it as an email if you prefer, or you can export the file, or you can directly upload it to YouTube or Facebook if you wish. So let's choose the export file option. This one is the title of your footage. This will be the description, what your video is about. These are the tags if you want to add. Now this is the format. If you want to export it as a video, as an MP4 file, then you should choose this one. But if you want to extract only the audio, then you should choose the audio only option. So you can export only the audio of this video. This is the resolution that you can select. There are three options currently. This is the quality of the video. You probably want to leave it as a high quality, but if you choose the best ProRes option, then, then currently we see that it's 25 minutes and the size is almost four gigabyte. But if I change this to ProRes, then we will see a significant increase of this footage because it will significantly increase the quality, the video quality, okay? And this is the compress option. Uh, by default, it is faster. I also leave it as faster, but you can also select a better quality if you prefer. And now when you click on next, then it will ask you where to save your footage. I will leave it as desktop. Now click on save. And now as you can see, it is processing. iMovie is processing the footage. And once the circle is completely filled out with white, it means that the process will be completed. And if you click on the cross, then it will cancel exporting it. So to sum up, iMovie is great for simple editing and for beginners as well. I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you do, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, see you guys later on my channel. Thank you for watching.